from Electronica24. I'm Maria Tartilan, and this video is about how new cars are increasingly looking for digital solutions. The number of electronical components and cables has increased dramatically over recent years. Did you know that this car, for example, has over 3.5 kilometers of wiring inside? This is getting very heavy and complex, so we need to find some digital solutions. Working closely with our customers, ST is now at the heart of the transition to software-defined vehicles. We are establishing digital platforms, such as the Stellar Microcontroller Series, and working on the evolution of centralized architectures and power integration. A great example of this new car architecture is our X-in-1 approach for electrification. As you can see in the animation, the current status is a distributed architecture. We can find the fast DC charger, the AC charger, and the onboard charger for the high voltage battery, the DC to DC converter from the high to the low voltage battery, and the traction inverter. The data is being transmitted from the vehicle control unit to the battery management system and to the other applications. As you can see, each function is managed by its own microcontroller. Now, if we move to the centralized approach, we see that all the applications are physically integrated in one box and managed by a single stellar microcontroller, which is located on the vehicle control unit. With up to 20 megabytes of non-volatile memory, six cores, and the highest levels of safety and security, it is the perfect fit for domain and zone controllers. In this specific case, we were able to integrate five functions in one, but this is a modular approach that can be adapted to your needs. Of course, the ST wide portfolio includes not only the microcontroller, but also other components, such as wideband gap devices like SIC or gate drivers. The overall benefit of this centralized approach is the optimization of the lighter weight of the system, with savings of around 43% in weight and 27% in volume, plus an increase of high voltage efficiency of 1%. And don't forget about the huge cost savings with a decrease of 80% of the bill of material of the microcontroller mini system, since we substitute five microcontrollers and five PMIX for one, and the software ecosystem decreases consequently. Another good example here is the development of software over the air updates. We can see in the animation an example of a sonar architecture where the data is being transmitted from the telematics control unit to the high performance control unit and from there to the different zonal control units, which are managed by stellar microcontrollers. When a new software image is downloaded from the cloud, it will be shared with the zonal controllers. If the download is successful, as happens in the first case, the software update is completed. Otherwise, as in the second case, it's possible to roll back to the previous software image and wait for the next software update. Thanks to the large and ultra-fast non-volatile memory of the Stellar, the PCM, phase change memory, the software update can be safely implemented and with no downtime. The PCM, which is fully qualified, is the smallest industry embedded cell and has some unique features such as the single bit alterability or a higher soldering robustness compared to other non-volatile memories. This is a real game changer. Finally, a third example of car digitalization and integration is this innovative interior smart image sensor, which is basically two cameras in one. It enables human vision video, which is capturing the red, green, blue information and machine video application, where a scene is illuminated with near infrared light. Thanks to ST's 3D stack technology, this is the first smart sensor on the market that can do processing and separate the two walls on a sensor. In the application, the separated frames are sent over a serial connection to an electronic control unit where the red, green, blue information will be processed by a standard image signal processor into a beautiful HDR video. This image can be sent to an infotainment cluster, recorded or sent over a cellular connection to the wall, for example, for a video call. The near-infrared image will be processed by an MPU to detect the driver drowsiness, which then can be alerted. This data is the input for the driver monitoring system, which, by the way, is mandatory in the European Union from 2026. If you would like more information about our products and solutions, we have sales offices all over the world. So please contact your local agent and they will guide you.
Thanks for watching.